So you guys can see. <sighs> that was not supposed to happen. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Golden here. We're gonna jump right in here. There's gonna be some timestamps down below. We are going to put a circuit into this panel. This panel is still dead. We will fire it up eventually. I said we wouldn't, but I think we're going to. I wanna talk just a little bit about a couple of questions that have come up. I wanna take the time and tell you about this breaker and this bus bar. Now, this is completely dead, it's off. I mean, here is the end of the wire, just so somebody say, oh, well, you know, there's the wire. So don't say, oh my gosh, it's so hot, you know, and you're gonna get shocked, no. You always practice like it's live, but anyway, I wanna talk to you guys about a couple of things. Now, I wanna talk to you about this breaker and what it does. Now, when you turn this breaker on, what happens is this black wire goes down this side, this red wire goes down this side. And if you look real close, which I'm gonna bring you here close in just a second. If you look close on this bus bar, every other spot, like this one goes to A, this one goes to B, this one goes to A, this one goes to B. This is A, this is B, all right? I'm gonna, break, so I'm gonna bring you close here in a second and show you. Now, before I bring you close, I wanna talk about something else. There was a question, I went to some guy's house and he had a very small panel, kind of like this, and I think he had seven breakers on one side only and nothing on the other side. He told me that he thought that his panel was not um, balanced right. So, of course, I looked at it and I was like, well, I said, I think I'm pretty sure it was seven breakers. I said, well, technically it is, technically it's not. He was concerned because he thought that it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven or seven, whatever side he wanted to put it on. He thought that every breaker should be, you know, one from the other, one from the other, so on and so forth. Now you can do that. You can do it like this other guy, whoever put that panel in, you can do it like they did it. Neither one is wrong. It's not going to make the panel um, overloaded or whatever, because like I just now told you, this is A, this is B, this is A, this is B. And we're gonna prove that here with the meter but I'm gonna bring you closer so I can show you. Now there are some panels, which we will not get into right now. That's for more uh, advanced people, more that people that are in commercial buildings and three-phase panels and such, where you definitely need to keep them, you know, A, B, C, A, B, C, and not, you know, A and A. Because if you're sharing neutrals, that's where you get in trouble. However, with Romex, typically you're not sharing a neutral, typically. There are some people who do, but let's jump around here. I'm going to bring you a little closer. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about with the A, B, A, B, so on and so forth. So come on in. All right. So what we're going to do is with the breaker on, we are going to put it in ohms or continuity. Have you want to look at it? So I'm going to leave this right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to leave it so I can use the clamp to show you. All right. We're going to leave this one here on A. All right. You see, it's open because there's obviously nothing, right? We wanna make sure it's not touching the can anywhere. All right, so with on A, what we're gonna do, so it's on A, so we're gonna look here and see. All right, so we know that this one is A, that one is not, that's B. A, B, A, B. So every other one of these stabs is going to ring through. Every one will ring through to show you guys that this one is attached to this whole entire bus bar right here. All right, we'll go to B and we'll see. It's not ringing through. So we'll go over here, it doesn't ring through. It rings through. Now this bus bar goes right back up here, goes into here, this side of the breaker. Not, yes, not, yes. So does that make sense? Now if I was to turn it off, you go back to A, nothing, 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 nothing. That's what you want when it's off. You don't want it to be bleeding through. We'll just double check this breaker. We'll make sure, good. We'll make sure it ain't together and it's not. All right, so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to you guys. And I hope that clarifies some things that even if you were to put them all on one side, you still have A, B, A, B, and so on and so forth, all the way down through there. So technically you're not overloading the panel. It just looks a little better if it's, you know, one, 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 so on and so forth. So anyway, let's jump in here, get this wire in here. 
What we're gonna do is we're gonna put just a regular breaker in here. We're gonna fire it up. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it's hot and we're gonna close the video out. So there are a lot of people who like to wire up panels differently. There are people who put the Romex connectors in before and then feed the wire down in. And then there's some who put the wire in first to their connector, tighten it up and put it in. Now me, for this demonstration, I plan on doing it where I'm gonna put the connector in the panel. And I don't really think I need to show you guys. I mean, it's just a cut and dry. You're dropping this in there and you're tightening it up. One thing we need to always make sure that we do before we really do anything in the panel, we always make the dead end up first, which means we wanna make the receptacle end up first. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this box fairly close just for the purpose of this video so you guys can see how it is to make up. So what I like to do, I'm just gonna, like I said, just nail this on here and I'm, I'm gonna leave it this high. Normally you wouldn't, but I'm gonna leave it this high because this is just for video purposes. And I want to tell you guys that I'm not going to nail this all the way in because this is a ongoing project here. So I want to make damn sure that I don't put it on there where I can't get it back off. So we'll just tack it on here for the time being. All right, it's good all the way on, right? For video purposes. Now you can do it one or two ways. There are some people who like to put the Romex, strip it out and put it on here beforehand, or they like to put the connector in, and then feed the room mix in. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys a cool product. So I'm going to put it on, I'm gonna put the connector on here now, and I'm just going to Now we're gonna tighten that up later. All right, we'll put this in here. Take out what we need. Quick code question. How much wire do you need sticking out of your box? Now this video, I'm not gonna tell you anything about that. So there will be a video soon coming on to tell you how much you need. But for this video, I want you to think about it. Leave it in the comment below. I'll have a discussion about it. How much wire do you need sticking out of your box? Don't say how much I have. How many inches is it? All right, we're going to tighten this up. All right, we're going to go ahead and strip this out now. Now, here is the cool product that I have. You guys are gonna be pretty amazed. These are angled Romex strippers. I've got straight ones and I've got angled ones. These angled ones are perfect for the box. Like I said, there are people who like to strip wired before they put them in a box in the panel. I don't give a crap. I'll do either one, but for this video, I am going to use these inside the box. Now I'll show you in a demonstration here in just a second how these things work. I'll have a piece of wire here just in a second to show you. All right. All right, I really didn't see any purpose of me showing you how to put a receptacle on. If you guys need to know how to do that, I have a video, check up in the corner or down there in the description. Now, let me show you how these things work. So basically, you see there's a cutter on here, right where my finger is. What happens, the rum mix goes in there. Now these are wore out a little bit, but still, even the new ones, I think you still have to roll them just a little bit. What you do is you stick it in here like so. So you put them in there, as you can see. And I like to just wiggle it back and forth just a little bit. All right, that way I know it cuts it good. And then you just break it, bend it, whatever. It comes right off. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this piece right here because we're gonna call this a living room circuit. So let me go ahead and strip the rest of this out and see if it'll come off. It's pretty cold in here, so we'll see. Oh yeah, beautiful. All right, so. The same thing goes for a panel that it does a receptacle, guys. What I always preach is grounds, neutral, hot. Now remember, this is a sub panel. If you've been following along with this video series, we're going to put the ground in here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to, I'm gonna bring you a little closer and show you guys, because I think this is kind of important. A lot of people don't know this. So what I'd like to do is bring my wire kind of down 
right in here in this channel in the corner here. And then once you get it to where it meets your screw at, right here where my thumb is, as you can see, that is where you want to cut it. So if you need to mark it, mark it. Because you really don't want a whole bunch sticking out past the bus bar. So you want about, about right there. So we'll go ahead and cut this. All right, and once we stick it in there, I'll show you how good it will look. All right, just like that. Everything is right angled and goes right in there. We'll go ahead and we'll tighten her down. It's beautiful. All right, same with the neutral. We'll take it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow this one because what I told you before, the Romex is coming in and out of here. So we'll just follow it around here and we'll just right angle it here. Might have to re-bend just a few times, just get it in there right, but you might make it look halfway decent. And we're gonna come down all the way to the bottom. You can come to the top if you want to, it's whatever you wanna do. And once you get down here where you want, you just hold it over here. And you can either mark it or you can just hold your finger on it like I'm doing right here. That's where I want it, we'll cut it. Right about there. These also have strippers made onto them. I'll leave a link for these down below to my Amazon store. You guys can check out that. It has them in there. If you guys buy from me, it will not charge you anymore and it will help my channel grow and all the money goes right back into my channel. All right, beautiful. We have to put the breaker in. Now this is a living room. Now remember I told you I was keeping a little piece here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna write, I made it a little long. Now you can write LV room or whatever, but some people don't know what LV room is. So we're gonna write living. Room. Now I made it long because sometimes if you've got a fat Sharpie, that's a new one. It kind of bleeds out a little bit. So you definitely wanna make sure that you have enough room. So what we'll do is we'll cut it off here like so. We'll take it and we'll put it on our wire. We'll put our breaker in on A. And we're gonna do the same thing here. So we'll just push it back up in here and we'll come over here. And now what we'll do here on this breaker, as you can see on this breaker, it will go no further than where my fingernail is. So what I like to do is when I take the wire, I like to put it, like if it's over here, I know that I have to cut it right there. Does that make sense? So if it was right here, I'd have to put my fingernail right there. I would cut it right there and it would go perfectly into the breaker. Now you can leave the breakers out and put the wire under the breaker if you want to. I'm not going to, because I want to show you what I was talking about. Now, what we'll do is you see right here, I'm gonna cut it right there and that should go perfectly into the breaker. So we'll, we'll see. I feel like it will. Now, if you don't know how far to strip this, I've done enough of these, so I feel like I'm pretty, pretty good. So let's see. But on the breaker, there's a strip gauge. Let's see if I'm close. Bud, I don't know if you can tell or not, but that is DBA. You know what that stands for? Dead balls accurate. So lucky guess, right? There was no, uh, hidden uh, editing on that one. And we'll put it right in there. And we'll tighten her down. All right. And fix our wire so it's straight. And there you go, living room. That's all there is to it. Now we're not gonna fire this up today. We will fire it up on another video because I'm gonna add another breaker on another video. We're gonna add a GFI breaker and we're also gonna add an arc fault breaker. And I'm gonna show you how they work. So definitely guys, stick around. Remember this little scene here because you know, you're gonna see it again. All right, now I have a question for you guys. Do you see any code violations here? Look at the receptacle. Look at the breaker, see anything? So if you do, 
Definitely drop down in the description. Let me know. Just so you guys know, I would never try to steer you wrong. So chances of there being one here are about slim to none. But if you do see one, let me know. Also, let me know what you think about how far the wire has to be out of your box. And if you guys know the code where that is in the code book, if you drop it down in the description, you guys will be the winner. All right, guys, I'm going to end it right here. Remember, next video will be GFI breaker and then arc ball breaker. Guys, if you like what you see here, like and subscribe. God bless, and we will see you on the next one. Have a great day.